Hey everybody, I am going to, um, let me start up my Facebook page so we can get everybody on here today. And now let me turn this around. All right, so we're there. We're live over there and then we are live over here. Turn this up. All right, um, I wanted to come on live and and um, chat with you all today first i want to go into prayer father god i come to you in the name of your son jesus giving you thanks lord god for being god of all for being a merciful god for being a loving god a caring god for being a god that who is there for us when we need him and a god who does not pass judgment lord but you always seek ways that you could have had find to forgive us, Lord. I pray, Father God, that you would hear these words that I'm about to say, that they would be your words, Father God, and you would guide my mind and, and the words that I'm about to say and guide and protect my heart, Lord God, that I will speak words that will encourage people, Father God. Let not my will be done, but your will be done, Father God. I ask these things in the name of your precious Son, Jesus Christ, whom we love so much. And I thank you for your precious and sweet Holy Spirit. I give you thanks, God, for being God of all and being such a kind and merciful God, giving us another day, God, this God, this day, God, to get things right and to do your will, Lord God. I ask and pray right now, Father, that you protect every nation, Lord God, and every country, Lord God, and all the people that are in it, Lord God, those who have strayed, Father God, away from you, Lord. I pray, Father God, that you would change their hearts, Father God, and mend the hearts that are broken, Lord God, so that they will come back to you, Father God. I pray, Father God, for those who also have hurt those father god that you father god will find it in your way to send someone father god even if it's your just your holy spirit but a comforter to them lord god so that they can be known and let them know the wrong that they have done lord god so they can fix it lord god and no longer hurt your people father i pray father god forgiveness over this land father god right now in the name of your precious son jesus lord god God, I ask you to do a great work, Father God, in this country and other countries, Lord God. Bless the people, Father God. Heal the people. Hear their cries and answer, Lord God. I give you thanks, Father God, for just being such a wonderful God. I thank you, God, for being able to even serve you, Lord God, for we have many gods that we can choose to serve, Father. But I, Father God, and those that I know are with me follow after you, Lord God. And so we ask, Father God, that you would use us, Lord God, to be those vessels, Father God, on this earth to do your will, Father God that good will father god and i ask that you protect each and every one of us that are doing your will right now lord god that you would send your mightiest angels around us to encamp around us to guide and protect us daily father god moment by moment second by second hour by hour lord god i pray that we would not be without the things that we need father god to press on to do your will father god whether it be finances whether it be food whether it be resources or whether it be the team that we need lord god i pray father god and i know that you have equipped Equip people to help us, Lord God, and I pray this day that you will start sending them to each and every one of us, Father God, to help the missions that you need done on this earth, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, for sparing us, Father God, and not giving up on us, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that this day forward, your will be done and not ours. I give you thanks for hearing my prayers. I thank you for even your ministering angels that are with me right now, Lord God, here right now, protecting, Father God, guiding and being those guards, Father God, for me, Lord God. I thank you that you equip them and give them greater strength, Lord God, this day, Father God, to go forth and carry out your will, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for hearing, Father God. I thank you for answering. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to come straight to you, Father God, that I don't have to go through any man, but I can go straight to you, Lord God. And you will hear, Father God, and you will answer. For you said, whatsoever I believe, Father God, I shall receive. And right now I'm believing, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You, Father God, just saying thank you, Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me, a humble servant, to come, Father God. Even after all the wrong that I myself have done, You've still allowed me to come, Father God, to be there with you, to ask, Father God, for whatever I would need 
and you said you were here and you were answer. You forgive me, Father God. So as you forgive me, Father God, I now know also, Father, that I have to forgive others that have done wrong to me, Lord God. And so this day, Father God, I forgive each and every one of them, Lord God. For if we don't forgive others, how can we ask that you forgive us? And if we don't forgive others, Father God, how can we ask that you would bless us, Father God? So anyone in my past, Father God, that may have done wrong to me, Father God, I ask, Father God, that right now, you understand and I understand that I forgive them. Today is a clean day, a clean day, Father God. And anyone that I've wronged, Father God, I ask that I be forgiven, Father God. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayers. Thank you for answering these prayers. And thank you for being my God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hey, I just want to come to you today because um, <clears throat> I was woken up early this morning um, I'm actually out of town right now, and I was woken up early this morning by uh, some noise outside the window. And uh, my husband and I both heard the noise, and we woke up early. So um, after not being able to go back to sleep, I started going on social media. And while on social media, I saw um, two things, and I want to bring them to your attention. Because as I saw these things, I just started saying, Lord God, what's going on? And before I get out of bed every morning, I always read the daily verse um, from the Bible app. And today's daily verse came from Proverbs 29, Proverbs 29, verse 4. Proverbs 29, verse 4 says, and I read in the NIV, By justice, a king gives a country stability. But those who are greedy for bribes tear it down. I'm going to read that again. <clears throat> By justice... A king gives a country stability. By justice, a king gives a country stability. But those who are greedy for bribes tear it down. And that was going to be such a fitting scripture for today because as I started reading some of the things on social media, I came across two things. One of them is written by the Christian Post, which is a, a news um article that uh, posts a lot of things re regarding things that are happening in the Christianity world. And the Christian Post had an article written about Paula White. Paula White is um, in her article basically um, telling people that if we do not re-elect Trump and vote for Trump in this re-election, that um, basically we're not going to be good or we're disgracing or, or so forth. She's basically saying we need to vote for Trump in this election and if we don't vote for Trump that we're going to regret it um, I believe those were her words allegedly those were her words if we don't re-elect Trump that we are going to regret it those are what Paula White allegedly is claiming in this Christian Post article um, you can go online and view that Christian Post article but as I started reading some of the um, article that was written in the Christian Post a story about Paula White she's actually endorsing a new book that she has written um, and in, in her book, she's stating that there are some things in there that she got to know Trump on a, on another level or a better level or some form of like that. Allegedly, this is what her book is saying. But the thing that I got out of it is when I was reading it, I got really kind of not mad, but I got kind of dismayed. And, and the reason why I say dismayed is because it made my heart really sad because people nowadays are putting so much trust in man that they're forgetting about the God that really created all of us. They're forgetting about God. We're pushing God aside because we're trying to put an image in front of us. And these men and women are trying to, or becoming images in front of us, in front of God. What we need to do is we need to continue to stay focused on God. People, we can't lose sight of what the real focus is, and that is God. Yes, men are come here and women come here and they help us and they guide us and they try to direct us to God, but we cannot lose sight of God in this whole transition. We cannot lose sight of God in all of this. And a lot of times what we're doing is, yes, we are losing sight of God, the main focus. 
And it's sad. We're, we're taking focus on, on Trump. Yes, Trump is in office. We pray for Trump. We pray for his family. Why? Because he is a human being. And we have to love our neighbors. We have to love those that are in, in authority over us. We may not like them, but we do have to love them. But it does not mean that we have to serve them and replace them for our God. We don't do that. And when we start doing that, we start putting ourselves in a position that we can cause great harm to ourselves. No one goes in front of God. It's God, God, God. Also, I was looking at um, an article that came across on the news feed, um, TMZ. TMZ is, 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 is reporting that um, Joel Osteen has asked Kanye West to come and do service, a service at um, his church in Texas. Um, allegedly, this is what uh, TMZ is reporting, that Joel Osteen says, hey, come on, uh, Kanye West, and do a uh, service here. I don't have a problem with who people elect to come to their services, but what I have a problem is what you're doing and the reasoning why you're trying to get these people to come to your ministries. Um, Kanye West and his family and all of them, we pray for them as well. But I don't think that people should be doing things for the love and greed of money. And I think that's a lot of what's going on right now, that people, instead of them oh, God, having people to come to their ministries to really bring a word and encouragement and a true word from God, what they're doing is they're having people come to their ministries to bring resources and to try and bring money to their services and God is not in it. We have forgotten that God is our source. God has always been our source. God has always been our resource. We cannot lose sight of that. We cannot lose sight that God is. And that's what a lot of people are doing. They're losing sight of God is. So they're saying, hey, I see a new way that I can bring in money. I see a new way I can bring in wealth. I see a new way I can do this and I can do that. Have you prayed and have you asked God? Have you really submitted and said, Lord, is this your will? Or have we just pushed God's will aside because we feel like it's not working? It's not growing fast enough. So what we do is we bring in what we see everybody else doing. You can't mess up and clutter and dirty your house because you think the newest invention in town is the best invention because that thing may mess your entire house up. Wait on God and ask God, is that what he wants to be in your house? Wait and see. And if God say, yes, this is what he wants to, to be in your house, then great, then have that. But I'm just questioning, have people actually done this or are they just picking up the next best, best, best fad to them? It's sad, but I think that's a lot of what's going on. We have lost focus, or you all have lost focus, or some of you have lost focus on God. And we're so desperate for stuff today in the human form that we're forgetting about God. We're forgetting about him and his kingdom. And we have to get back to that, focusing on God. Today's verse really ministered to me because I said, God, I said, all this that's going on, Paula White, she's almost trying to put fear into people to reelect Trump. She's so focused on the man. That's my thoughts. Allegedly, she's just so focused on, on, on Trump. She just focused on this power. She just, she, you know, I don't know, but I said, God, what is going on? And you've got everybody out here asking Kanye West to come to their services and to do services. And I said, God, if, if it's your will, good. But there was just an unsettling in me between these two with Trump and Kanye West. There was just an unsettling. And I said, Lord, what can I tell the people? What can I tell the people? Give me something to tell the people. And he took me back and he said, Regina, this morning you read a verse. Tell that to the people. Tell that. And that verse again was in Proverbs 29, verse 4. Proverbs 29, verse 4. And it says, By justice, a king gives a country stability. By justice, a king gives a country stability. Not by fear. Not by fear. Not by persuasion. Not by any of that. But by justice. By justice, our country can have stability. And it says, but those who are greedy for bribes will tear it down. 
if our leadership and even Kanye West, if Kanye West's goal is really bribery then and, and money, then that's going to tear things down. It's not going to build things up. If Trump's vision is bribery and greed, it's not going to tear this, this, it's not going to bring this country up. It's actually going to tear this country down. We have to get back to focusing on why people are in position and what they're supposed to be doing with those positions. I was looking at Kanye West. Uh, thing regarding Jamaica. Um, there's a, an, an issue that happened with him in Jamaica and, and Jamaica uh, allegedly they were saying that he was using their Jamaican emblem and, and, and for money and wealth on these shirts that he was he was uh, selling at the uh, the um, services that he were having. $200 shirts allegedly they were saying these sweaters were. These sweaters are allegedly $200 with the Jamaican emblem and um, apparently the, the Prime Minister over in, in, in Jamaica uh, put a stop to it. She didn't want him selling these shirts. And I thought about that and I said, God, I said, what is going on? Greed, greed, greed. Kanye West, I believe, has found a way to market and make more money and he's going after it. He's going after it. He's going to go and he's going to say a word and he's going to give a, a song and he's going to do all this and he's going to put Jesus name on something that Jesus didn't even say for him to put his name on. Just like the Jamaican minister said, we didn't give you authorization to put your, your, put our country on your shirt. Just like Jesus is saying, Kanye, I didn't give you permission to put my name on what you're doing. It's the same thing. Greed. They're using it and they're not supposed to do it because they weren't given permission to do that. And what people are doing, they're buying these things and not understanding that they're buying something that's bogus. They're buying something that nobody claimed permission to, to do. They're, they're doing this. And we have to be very careful with what we purchase and where we put our money and even where we put our soul and our spirit. Some of these things have been used without the permission of God. Just like the Jamaican minister said, Kanye, you're using something that belongs to us and we did not give you permission to put your, your, our name on your stuff. We didn't give you permission to do that, Kanye. Jesus is saying the same thing. God is saying the same thing. Kanye, you're using my name on something that I didn't give you permission to use my name on. Wake up, people. Wake up. We can't always follow the, the the crowd. We can't always follow the crowd. The crowd can leave you and lead you astray. You have to wake up and understand. And I believe the Holy Spirit is saying right now, just like that prime minister said in, in Jamaica, Kanye used this without their permission. He didn't ask permission. He wasn't granted permission to put their emblem on anything that he has. He wasn't given permission to sell their, an, an item that had their emblem on it. He was not given permission to make money off of something that had their emblem. That emblem belonged to them. That emblem belonged to, to people in Jamaica. Kanye went in and he swooped in and he tried to steal something from the Jamaican people. And the Jamaican people said, we're not going to allow you to do this to come into our country and take something that belongs to us that we worked hard for that we protected that we built up and you're going to swoop in here and try and take it and put it on something of yours and then try and collect money off of it for yourself that's stealing you're not going to do that the Jamaican people said so they're putting a stop to it why are we the Christian people saying the same thing Kanye we don't believe Jesus gave you the authority or gave you permission to put his name on this thing that you're doing why are we so running to him why aren't we saying, hey, Kanye, who gave you that permission? Who gave you permission? Did God give you permission to put his name on something that you're using to go and collect money off of? Where's the permission? Did God grant you the permission? Why is Jamaica screaming louder than the Christian people? When Christianity has been around much longer than all of this, why are we staying silent? Why? Because greed, greed. Greed, greed for things, greed for acknowledgement, greed to be part of a big crowd. Christianity is a big crowd. That should be crowd enough. But no, you want the fame. You want all of this other stuff. We have to talk to people and say, where's the permission? Who granted it? That's what we need to start doing. Where is it? Go back to our word and find out what's going on. And stop being so wanting to be part of something that you haven't realized that the thing that you're trying to get connected to is not of God. 
I'm praying over Kanye. I'm praying over his entire family and everyone else that's out here doing ministry and every single human being that we would do what's right. We would do what's right for the people. Stop stealing from the people. Stop taking stuff that, that you know that should not be, be done. It's just, just selfishness. It's just selfishness. Kanye, if he wants to do a concert, why don't you just go ahead and just do a concert? Oh, why does he have to go and sell these shirts, sweaters, $200 each and stuff like that? How about give away some blankets at your concert, Kanye? There's a lot of people that's in the streets that's hungry. How about give away some stuff like that? Now, I'm not mad at Kanye, but what I'm saying is people, wise up yourselves. These things would not be happening if we would pray before we go in and, and try and get into something. These things would not be taking place. They would not be taking place. But we have to get to a place where we start trusting God. And God is saying, let us not forget the God that we serve. And all these things that are happening. Don't forget about God. Don't forget about God. Do not forget about God. He is our Savior. He is the righteousness. He is our example. He is our guide. He is our motivator. He is our inspirer. He is our inspiration. He is our trust. He is our faith. He is our future. He is our hope. He is our minister. He is our psalmist. He is everything. We cannot forget about God. So in all that you're doing today, and all that you're seeing on social media, and all that you're seeing in the world, even as you just walk down the street, remember God first. God foremost, and God forevermore. I love you today, and I want you to be encouraged, and I want you, as you follow people, to look at this one verse and think before you decide to follow and team up with somebody. Does this verse fit? Proverbs, Proverbs, Proverbs 29, verse 4. Proverbs 20, 29, verse 4. By justice, a king gives a country stability. But those who are greedy for bribes, tear it down. The people that you're following, the people that you're looking up to, the people that you're donating your money to, the people that you're buying merchandise from, the people that you're choosing to be idols, are they people that bring justice or are they people that are greedy for bribes? I love you. Stay in the faith.